John the Baptist. You know, truly, uh, when he came out, he came out, you know, here is the Lamb of God, and, and he was just full force going forth, teaching and preaching, telling people about the Lamb. You know, I mean, he baptized Jesus, and I'm sure in his head, I'm sure in his, here he puts him down in the water, he's probably thinking in his head, Man, there are great things coming my way. There's some good things about to happen. I mean, I'm sure the people around him are saying, Gee, John, you're really in there. You're, you're, got, you're right in there with the You're right next to him. I mean, not only your family, but man, you do is a privilege of putting him down the water. Great things are happening to you. And he's going out and, and he's preaching. I mean, he's preaching the word. And it's going forth, repent, repent, repent. And the next thing he knows... He's in the dungeon. He's in the dungeon. He's in the pit. It's like, wait a minute. What's wrong with this picture here? That's the reason he asked. Go ask him if he's the one. What's wrong with this picture? Was really him? And I'm sure that was the reason that he sent them out and said, uh, ask him again, are you sure? Are you sure this is the way I'm supposed to be going? Are you sure this is the way? Because face it, to our carnal mind, to our human fleshly mind, something's wrong with this picture. Come on, I've been out here doing everything I'm supposed to do for the Master. I'm preaching the Word. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. And now I'm in the pit. And the next thing you know, he's out there and he's on a guillotine and they're going to cut off his head. Yeah. What's wrong with this picture? But you know what? The word says sudden death, sudden the glory. glory. Sudden death, sudden the glory. And I'm sure when they came back and they said, Oh, John, you won't believe. He's healing the blind. You know, the lame are taking up their beds and they're walking off. It is amazing. The flesh has come back on those who have leprosy. You would not believe the miracles he's performing. And I'm sure John just looked up into heaven and said, Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be. And I'm sure he just said, Lord, if i got to lay down my life, yeah. then I'm going to lay down Give my life. Give me the strength. Give me the strength. You know what? Me. And that's where we have to be. Somehow we've got to find yes. that strength. Find a way to go on. No matter what comes our way, whether it's physical sickness or family or, or whatever comes. I know, George, that you've had a lot of trouble this week with family. You know, and, 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 you, and you know, I was listening to you, and, and you said, I don't understand why it is that, that I, I tried to do so much good, yet they won't hear me. It says when Jesus went to Canaan, he could do very little work because a man that's without honor in his own country. Many times your family can't see you for who you are because it, you're George Ann. You're just George Ann. Now, he did do some things. Do you understand? It didn't say he didn't do any work. It just said he was only able to do a few yeah. things. So do many words, you may not see what you're doing, <laughs> but you're doing you're the work. Something done. That's right. Something's being accomplished, yeah. and the enemy just doesn't want you to see the benefits. That's right. And, and, and you just got to keep your head held keep up. On you keep yeah. stepping forward. I mean, because, you know, it's a hard work out there. It is. But you just got to keep pressing on, yes. pressing on. Because every now and then you get these little blessings that come, like you said, oh, that little blessing this morning. You know, you just you have to hold on to what you know is truth and what you know is factual. And it doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter, you know, they'll come up with all kinds of excuses. You keep your sight set on God. Yes. You keep your sight set on Him. Because you know what? If we had hope in this life only, as Paul said, I would be of all men most miserable. We may not have all the cushiony things that the world has. Face it, they're all in debt to their eyeballs. You ever see that commercial where the guy's out there with cleaning his pool? And he says, see this house? I own this house. See this car? I own this car. See this pool? I own this pool. I own all these things, and I'm in too dead up to my eyeballs. He can't enjoy anything because he knows he has no way to pay for it. He doesn't own a thing. And that's the way the world is today. They have overstretched themselves so much. You know what? I, I don't have a lot, but what I have, everything I have, I have because God has given it to me. I have nothing that I have not received at the hand of God. Whether it's my physical health, whether it's my home, whether it's the squishy little pillow that I have to sleep into it. Everything I have, I have because God's made a way for me. I thank Him for that. Praise the Lord. Amen.